Uh, welcome. Got to work on the old Jeep. Right now, taking off the uh, front drive shaft. Got an issue with. Let's see if we can get you up here. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Got an issue with the transfer case not uh, not shifting into four low. So we're gonna pull the drive shaft off, and uh, most likely the um, the flange on the transfer case too. So bear with me here. So a little trick here I found, if you're by yourself, you can uh, hold the, uh, the drive shaft with your left hand, you know, take the, the bolts out with your right, or vice versa, depending on uh, which dominant hand you are. I've uh, already removed the uh, transfer case skid plate, which gave me plenty of room here to, to work in. If you, <laughs> if you don't want to remove it, you don't have to, so much easier if you do. Alright, well, I can't do it in two-wheel drive, so I'm going to have to get up and yeah, and put it. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe there we go. Let's just use the uh, exhaust pipe to the breaker bar. Now, that little this trick of spinning it by hand while you're ratcheting it, it only works if you have hub locking manual locking hubs in the front or you have your wheels uh, or your front axle jacked up in the air. So it looks like my uh, my shifter cable is stretched, and that's what's causing the no shifting into four low. Um, be calling uh, advanced adapters tomorrow. Maybe getting online. Hopefully tomorrow, 
and ordering the new advanced adapters cable. Well, in the meantime, cheers.